Come on in, welcome to my home. Today, as promised, I'm going to take you through the 3D model of my dream home in progress. And while some of you might think that this is a waste of time, I know a lot of you did say the fact that you couldn't visualize it from a 2D print or from a 2D plan. And that's one of the things we were going to talk about is the fact that doing these 3D models does help a lot. It can even help you with the home that you have now. The modeling a program that I'm using is SketchUp, which you can get from Google. You can use the free version, which is what I'm using. I might move on to the more advanced version. We will see. But the house itself, I think, is really cool. And there have been changes that I've made since the floor plan originally, because once you see it in 3D, you can then imagine yourself in the space, and that will change how you look at things. But let's jump into it. Let's start out front. All right, we are starting from the outside, and as I explained in the first video, it will have two garages. You'll notice that there's a single car garage on either side of the entrance. The entrance will be made out of simulated stone, which will always be nice. The doors you'll notice throughout this are open simply because the only way to actually get this program to work, which I'm still learning how to work with the program, is to have the doors open. And like I said, I am still learning how to work with the program. So if you see some problems, I'll try to I'll try not to make you sick. So we are going in through the front porch and through the front door. You did notice that there were no windows on the outside because I don't want to have a lot of windows facing north because the front of the house would face north. And yes, I am building this without designing this without having a piece of property in mind at first. We come into the foyer, which has the long view down the hall to the dining room. And if we circle over here, and I'm trying to do this nice and slow as to not make you really sick, you'll notice in this spot, which is to the left, I would probably have a bench. And to the right, there is a matching spot, which would there be another sp a bench. Let's back up so that you can see the closet area. Uh, here we would have a closet. There are matching closets on either side. One of the things that this program does do if you're in the walking mode or the walking tour mode is it does put you so that you are you can't go through solid walls and that's what we're having with right now. Uh, facing back towards the door we can go into the garage which would be a nice size one car garage. Now, of course, everything would not be this light simply because, well, the program does have everything because it's not photorealistic. This is the corner in the foyer that would also have probably coat hooks and a bench. Then we go into the main hallway. From this spot, you are looking to the right, which would have the office. This is the view down the hall. Now there's a lot of furniture not in this yet because as I said, I am working on this. Let's go into the office. The things which I did find that I would want to add is in the office, you might have noticed, we'll whip back around here in just a second. We were panning through those, around those walls. You will notice that I did add two closets simply because that would be a great place to store my camera equipment and those sort of things. The glass doors that you see would be frosted, so that would be fairly important. This view from the office, you would have frosted glass doors, but since I'm using the free uh, version of this program, it does not have the ability to make frosted glass that I know of right now, but I am still learning this program. Then we go back from the, into that main hallway, into what would be a laundry room. This laundry room is another one of those cases where I figured something out. Along this wall, I had always planned on having cabinets, but you'll notice that I put in two closets. The reason being is the cabinets are great. However, I would, because this cabinet, row of cabinets, would be where I would have my craft stuff, that sort of thing, but it also give me a place to store those items. 
that I could store the unsightly items out of the way. The open space in between the two runs of cabinets would be where I would have my dog bed. It'd be small. It is small. And that would give me a great place to do this. And also, that would be subway tiles because you have the washer and dryer. And then you would also have what would be a dog um, bathing station or a mop station. And that would be really nice to have. Then over here, there of course, there is a sink and an area where I'd probably keep dog food, but that'd be a place where if I had dirty clothes, that sort of thing, that needed things to be washed, that's some fun stuff. We're going to go back out into this main hallway. We are back out in the main hallway. And like I said, the main hallway does open up to that dining room area. And then I think we'll tour the guest bedrooms next. The guest bedrooms are going to be to the right. And they are exactly the same. You'll be, you'd be able to see in them. So this is the first guest bedroom, which would have its own walk-in closet. And it is a just a plain good size guest bedroom. Going back around here. There. Yeah, it's a good size guest bedroom. Spots for, you know, a good spot for a bed, that sort of thing. And it also gives you some privacy. Then, going back into that little ante way, you have the second guest bedroom. And it has the same sort of layout with a closet and big window wall great space for a bed and I'll show you an overview of this all right then we'll do a bird's eye view of the guest bedrooms and guest uh, bathroom and in the bird's eye view of the guest bedroom and the guest bathroom with the bathroom in the center you can see a nice spot for the shower tub shower combination a toilet a vanity with a mirror above it as I mentioned the guest uh, closets which are walk-in closets and you can see the long hallway and all of this is off the main because the whole thing operates off of a centralized long closet going into the guest bathroom like i said there are things that i need to fix up you do have a vanity and a bathtub the doors are open that you can see in Then spinning around, that's a guest bedroom again. We're going to go back out to the hallway. In the hallway, so that you, if you were in the bedrooms or the bathroom, you would come to two storage closets because the next spot that you would come to in this area is the master suite. So if we were entering into the master suite, to the left would be a walk in closet. We'll come back to that. Then turning to the right, you would have the main master bedroom, which is a fairly big space. Nice big window. Then you'd roll around the room. There would be a vanity and a vanity area. You can see that laundry room we talked about through the closet. Then a lovely bathroom. The bathroom would have straight in front would be a tub, probably a spa tub with a window in front of it. A closet for linen. There would be a shower in this door which is open would be probably closed most of the time. As you can see, there is a toilet and another vanity right there. This empty room would be the walk-in closet, and the walk-in closet would have access back into the laundry room. So we're making a full circle of it. And 
going back out into that main hallway. He would come down the main hallway, and here, in this main hallway, would be a spot for books. The open area would probably where I would personally put my uh, robot vacuum, but just a spot for books and tchotchkes and those sort of things. We have a double door here, which would just be storage. A single door, which would then also be storage, but it would be more for decorations and that sort of thing. To the right would be another double door, and that is the utility area. Straight ahead in this large space, this would be the dining room with sliding glass doors, which would go out, which would lead out to the patio. To the right, turning here, we'd have windows, corner, wind the corner for a living room, sofa, that sort of thing. Now, the one thing which is interesting is once you get into this and you flip this way, that would be the spot for a huge TV and a solid door going out to the to a second patio, simply because the solid door would keep from reflections hitting the TV too badly. Now, this is the other nice part about this. This is where building this in 3D paid off. Because you notice there are only three upper cabinets, and originally there were two. Uh, the two upper cabinets, as I was looking around my own kitchen, I realized that that would not be enough. And the cool part about this is you can see a freezer, refrigerator, upper cabinet, which would probably house things like... Uh, the canning jars and that sort of stuff that I work with. The second upper cabinet to the right would house my spices. The upper cabinet over the, I guess you'd call it the island-ish kind of thing, would probably have plates and glasses and those sort of things. They are 24-inch cabinets on the wall but right in front of you and a 36-inch cabinet over the peninsula, I guess you'd have it with a sink, dishwasher, drop-in range, those sort of things. In this area, that door would lead to a pantry, and we're going to come up for a, a, a view up, so that we can see a bird's eye view. From the kitchen, you'd go into a pantry area, which would house just pantry items. Next to that would be a cold storage, or a walk-in root cellar. That would be using uh, the, I think they're called switch bot. No, they're called uh, cool bots, which would then house the cooling area of things to keep like root vegetables. It's an above ground root cellar. Behind that, of course, is that furnace and water heater area, which would be centralized to the house. And this is where this becomes a great view. Plus. Yeah, because of this, you can see the view from the back, which is north, garages, foyer, office, laundry room, guest bedroom, bath, guest bedroom, that whole suite of uh, pantry, pool, root cellar, furnace, kitchen, dining room area, living room. Then we have the pantry, with, when we have the storage area, master bedroom, master bath, dressing area, master closet, which is a walk-in closet, and then the laundry room, slash craft room, slash dog spot. Now there are lots of reasons why this is done this way, simply because this works for the way that my life works. As you come in from the north, you would have that foyer and everything enters in from that. Then if you do these side views, this would be the east side view. You would have, that's the room, that's the door to the laundry area, window to the tub, master bedroom window, closet to the living room, and then the window in the living room. This is the north view. This is on the west side, where you have the door to the office, the windows to the bedroom, bathroom, guest bedroom, and that's the kitchen window. Back of the house, we have the door in the kitchen. This door would lead to a greenhouse, which I have not put in yet. We 
you have the huge sliding glass doors in the dining room in the window which I think it just makes it more fun. Let me hide the top view. That. All right, so there we have the top looking down. And like I said, the fun part about this is seeing it in 3D, it does give you a chance to move around, get things the way that you want it to. Uh, you'll notice, like I said, the closets that I put in the office, I had not planned on having those. The closets that are in the laundry room hadn't planned on having those. I do have a huge table, which would probably be on wheels, in the laundry room. The closet in the master closet, well, the master closet that has three doors, one leading to the bathroom, one leading to the entry hallway, and one leading to the laundry room, the entry hallway for the master bedroom suite. The master bedroom suite, you could put the bed along the far side wall, which is probably what I would do. But you could also put the bed to the west wall. And then you have a dressing area, tub, shower, toilet, the whole nine yards. Going down that this main hallway, you do have storage closets, which are handy. Uh, you have the that wonderful bookcase with places to put things, another storage closet, and then, as I said, the large, and I mean very, very large, uh, master, very, very large closet that would just be for storing my decorative items. The furnace and water heaters would be there, guest bedroom, bathroom, guest bedroom, and we've seen all this before. But that is it. That is the 3D rendering. I will try to get a nice view just walking through it because the controls are sort of hard to manage but i did have fun building this if you want to learn more about how i did this let me know down in the comments but i really do recommend if you have anything a house that you, you that even the house that you live in you might consider building a 3d model of it so that that way you can see the relationships of things and see how they work in that sort of thing to be able to understand it better and give you ideas on how things can work better. Well, I hope that overall 3D walkthrough helped you figure out how I'm planning on designing this dream home of mine a little bit better. If you want to learn how I did this, as I said, let me know down in the comments. This is using SketchUp, which has been a challenge and has been fairly easy at times, but it was something fun, and I do really, 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 really recommend doing this for anything that you are trying to build so that that way you have a model to go off of because things which I hadn't planned on doing, I did because I looked at it going, hey, if I am in this space, I imagined myself moving around it and since I had a 3D model to do that, I could move around the space and see what worked for me and what didn't work. Well, I'd like to take this time to thank these people who are, are a part of my Patreon. They are helping me get closer to realizing this version of my dream home. The more people who join Patreon and the more people who join uh, the membership, they will also help us get closer and closer to actually building this house someday, which would be really fantastic. And you can say that you went along this whole entire journey of building my dream house and hopefully it, soon we'd be able to build it and furnish it and landscape it and you can come along on that ride if you are interested in that consider joining patreon consider becoming a member uh if you have questions let me know down in the comments i hope we get to see you again the next time you stop by